Remember these? The Hardy Boys. As a kid, as soon as I started reading, I couldn't wait to read the next installment of a Hardy Boys mystery. Uh, books like um, The Mystery of the Aztec Warrior, Secret Agent on Flight 101, Hunting for Hidden Gold. This was one of my favorites. A any of them were great. I, I loved the chance to feel the tension of a mystery and, and become part of the process to solve the puzzle. The love of puzzles and mysteries, it isn't unique to me. When kids turn about four years old, something important happens. They start asking, why? It's like suddenly the switch flips and they start stringing together questions to try and understand everything around them. Watch a four or five year old for very long and you'll be convinced that everyone is wired with a natural curiosity to know what we don't know, to go where we haven't been. Watching a young elementary child who's intrigued with discovering what they don't know is another piece of evidence that proves to me that God is real. We are designed in such a unique way, different from the rest of creation, to try and find the answers to life's hidden secrets. God made us in such a way that we're always discovering, wondering, exploring, innovating, improving, solving. He wants us to pursue knowing more because he wants us to know him more. The most important thing you can do for young children is to invite them into the story about a really big God. It's a story that will always be bigger than they can explain or imagine, but God invites them to spend a lifetime discovering who he is and how he loves them. But remember, there will always be an element of mystery in finding out who God is. Be careful you're not too quick to put God in a box and turn God into a simple answer. Never define God so narrowly that you take away that mystery. If you try to explain everything there is to explain about God, well then kids will grow up with a concept of God that is no bigger than your explanations. If we could understand everything there is to understand about God, then he would be no bigger than our understanding. Don't make God small by taking the mystery away. Leave plenty of room for kids to keep discovering new things about God for the rest of their lives. That's why our definition of knowledge is discovering something new so you can be better at whatever you do. Simply put, if God is real, if God made you, and if God made all things, then discovering something new about God every day or week or month will be the best way to find out how to live your life. We start off the month in the Far East with wise men whose lives were dedicated to discovering more about our universe. One night, they noticed a bright star that led them on an epic journey to find the King of Kings who was born to save the world. Through this familiar story, we want kids to realize that discovering what God says can help them know Jesus. In week two, we head to Jerusalem. When Jesus was 12 years old, he had traveled to Jerusalem with his family for a festival. When Mary and Joseph began their journey home, well, they realized Jesus wasn't with them. So they turned around, went all the way back to Jerusalem to find Jesus in the temple, surrounded by priests and rabbis. One of the most interesting parts of this story is when you hear how amazed the priests were with Jesus. It started with his inquisitive nature to understand the mysteries about God. He asked brilliant questions and they were intrigued with everything he had to say. And when Mary and Joseph asked Jesus why he had stayed behind at the temple, he gave a simple yet profound answer. He basically asked, why wouldn't I be here? This is my father's house. Jesus recognized something very important. He knew if he wanted to be part of God's story and know the secrets of the world around him, he needed to be in the place where he could learn what his father said. In other words, for Jesus, studying scripture was a priority. We want kids to discover that what God says is the most important thing to know. In week three, we'll look at one of Jesus' most profound steps of faith. At age 30, he showed up at the Jordan River where his cousin, John the Baptist, was baptizing people. Unlike everyone else at the Jordan River that day, John recognized Jesus not as his cousin, but as the Messiah. When Jesus told John to baptize him, at first John refused, feeling far too inferior to baptize Jesus. John knew enough about the scriptures and understood enough about God's story that he responded to Jesus in a different way. 
When we discover what God says, it can help us follow Jesus. In week four, we take a look at what happened after Jesus was baptized. In this story, Jesus was tested. Satan twisted what Jesus knew about God and his word. It's interesting how some knowledge can actually be distorted to move us in a wrong direction, to do something that could be self-destructive. But Jesus had done his homework. He knew enough about God to leverage God's truth to fight and win over evil. Each time Satan twisted what Jesus knew to be true, Jesus countered with scripture. Jesus showed us that discovering what God says can help you make the wise choice. But even when you know God's word, you may have questions about what God is doing in your life. John the Baptist, even as Jesus' own cousin, was in prison and wondered if Jesus was truly the savior that God had promised. Jesus responded in love, which reassured John that all of God's promises are coming true. We want kids to believe that when they don't know what God says, they should ask. Our memory verse for this month is Psalm 119, 105. Your word is like a lamp that shows me the way. It is like a light that guides me. If you want to know more about God, start with God's word. When you know God's words, it acts like a lamp that shows you the next steps to take on our own journey through life. God's word will point the way toward a growing relationship with Jesus. This month, invite your kids into a bigger story, one that has a lot of mystery and intrigue, one where they'll never get tired of discovering secrets about life and the world and God. There's something about a good mystery that keeps you reading. There's something about a world that's bigger than your imagination that compels you to keep imagining. Invite them into a lifetime relationship with the creator of all things. Help them get started knowing what really matters by helping them know who God is.